Hey everybody, it's Rowan. Just a quick video to summarize what went down on Sunday. Man, what a great time that we had together. Hey, listen, if you haven't come out to church yet and you are thinking about it, this is the kind of stuff that we've been talking about. I'm going to give you Cole's notes here from the service on Sunday and just some applications, just reminders during your week. And so keep this handy. Replay it if you need to. Um, we were looking at um, when God wants change in our lives, he knows what the answers to the prayers that we pray. He knows what those answers are going to be, whether it's money you need by a certain date or you need help in your marriage or in your job or whatever it might be. God knows what the answer is. But what is uh, what what is intention, sort of speak, or what is in our hands to choose is um, the condition of our heart. There's always a there's always a distance from when we pray something to when we receive the answer. Or I guess most often, more often than not, there's a there's a distance between point A and point B, and uh, it's in that moment, it's in that time. We've been looking at it um, in terms of like the wilderness, right? Coming up out of Egypt when the um, children of Israel came up out of Egypt in the Old Testament, and um, you know before they got into the Promised Land, there was this whole process that God had for them, and so we're looking at the process that God has us in as we go and. And um, we're about to possess some promises. We're about to go into the promised land. But I really felt in my heart that God wanted us to look at the condition of our heart, which is what he's interested in right here, right now, during this week. Let's look at the condition of our heart. And so we looked at um, four different things. And just real quick, here's what they are. A heart that possesses the, um, possesses the land. A heart that um, receives promises from God. It depends on God. It trusts on God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Remember that? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And so what do we need to be trusting him with more in this season? Trusting the Lord with all of our heart. And then also the heart that possesses the land that goes in and receives the promises from God. The, the heart that does that has dominion over sin. We, we are not to tolerate any kind of sin in our life. And uh, we are to have dominion over sin. Romans 6, 14, it says it, um, it, says it expressly that, that sinful is not who we are. We are righteous because of what Jesus has done in our lives. And we use that grace to live right and to do the right thing no matter what. There is no sin that should have dominion over us in our lives. The heart that possesses the land, it also holds on to promise. There have to be specific things that we are believing God for in our lives. And we're willing to hold on and we're willing to be patient. Remember that Hebrews 6, 12, we're to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the land. And so there's that um, aspect of our heart that is holding on to the promise of God no matter how long it takes, uh, believing God that he is good and that he is going to manifest his promises in our lives. And then lastly, a heart that possesses the land, a heart that possesses the promises of God, it um, is thankful to God. It remembers God. When we're in the land, when we have the promise, when we got the breakthrough, when things have all worked out and things have settled down, here's what we need to be doing thanking God, glorifying God, praising God. And the the picture of whether we will do that well or not is the picture of us right now. Are we thanking God for the prayers that he has answered, the things that he has done, the people that are around us, the revelation that we have right now? Are we thankful um, for it or have we forgotten to thank him? And so the heart that possesses the promises of God, here's what it does. It recognizes dependency on God. It has dominion over sin. It holds on to promise and it remembers God and it is thankful to God. Apply those to your um, to your heart this week. Ask the Holy Spirit, you know, what what, what am I believing you for? Ask the Holy Spirit um, to reveal to your heart, you know, where, ways that you can trust him more. Whatever this speaks to you, you and Jesus, do some business, do some journaling, figure it out, and we'll see you guys all around real soon. Blessings on your week. Bye.